Hi guys, I'm back here in my workshop to present to you another tech tip. This time it's quite a short tech tip, quite a simple one, but it's something which I received many questions about in the past, so I'd like to clear it up and explain uh, what it is. And it is about these posts that are sitting out at the rear of my shock tower. Uh, what are these for? And why do we put them on, on the car? Uh, you may have seen these on, on many top drivers' cars uh, and it's used for supporting the rear of the body shell for two reasons. The number one reason is uh, when you go into a high-speed corner, especially in modified racing, uh, the rear of the body compresses like this because obviously of the, the wind pushing onto the, the rear wing and the rear of the body shell. So instead of the body folding down, the, the post actually supports the body at high speed, which makes it more aerodynamically efficient. And as you can see inside of the body, these posts are long enough, not that they are supporting onto the body, but that they are just uh, sitting close to the body. So when the body folds, these, these uh, supports the body, they work as a backstop for the body. And they shouldn't touch the body, but they should be just long enough to be near it. So you can see here, I'm using the, the offset body posts for the T4, which comes in the kit. And they fit perfectly into the, the slots on the Racer 2 body, which I have here. But you can also use these posts from the NT1, they are optional, actually battery, no sorry, uh, body backstops, which are purposely made for, for sitting in this position of the car, and they have no holes in them. They are quite nice as well, I'm presenting the part number in this post. The next reason is, when you have the support for the rear of the body, it actually uh, limits the chance of you having a body tuck. So, I mean, we still use a lightweight body shell at the majority of the races around the world today. There's, there's some races, they don't allow this kind of body shells anymore, but the majority of races still allow the lightweight and ultra lightweight body shells. So the body shells tend to be a little bit flimsy around this area here. So for example, if you have a hit onto the, the side of the body shell and at, actually at any part of the rear of the body shell, this backstop will will prevent a body tuck and it will, will work really well for that reason as well so those are two reasons for why we're using the the posts at the rear of the shock tower and then another thing which some people ask me how do you how do you put the body clips onto the the body post so i try to use a little bit of float as i call it a little bit of physical travel is allowed. For example, you can see here, the body is not sitting completely tight onto the body post. So what's the reason for this is because when, when, you, when you hit a curb or you touch something on a track, or even if the body, even if the car is bottoming out, you don't want the, the body shell to, to take the, car, the whole car with it when it gets onto something. So, this will allow the body to float a little bit and it will be less sensitive to small bumps and touching the ground and upsetting the whole car. So the body is allowed to, to move freely independently from the car in the upwards direction and that's the reason for why we're doing it.